Hello everyone, Kathleen here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's time for a new angel spread. Yes, it is time for a new journal. The others are full and I've got some fantastic fabric from my dear friends France Papillon. Thank you, France. And it looks like leather. It is shiny. It is smooth. It is yum. And I had to customize it with some K-Best bling. So, the first page. That's exciting. Let's see what we will get. To protect the other pages, I'm using kitchen roll and fold them over and clip them in. Oh, exciting! The first color in a new journal. This one is gray. I've been quiet on YouTube, but I haven't on Instagram and Facebook, so if you followed me, you know what this is. This is a rusty tissue paper made with real rust. I will put the link down, it's a tip from France Papillon, so you can check it out. Not now, after the video, please. I will collage them with a matte medium and yeah, just run them over the spreads. It's just the background, so let's do this.
coming back in with um, acrylic paint and this time I will apply it with a brayer. The second color I'm using is a black acrylic paint, so yes, for a little bit more drama I'm using black. Straight from the bottle on the brush I'm using a crackle medium and apply it on the spread here and there and everywhere. Dapping the gold paint on the spread because I want to see some crackles and some effects. Okay, I have to admit I went over the top with the gold paint, so I'm coming back with the first paint from the first layer, that's a grayish paint, and after that I'm using a little bit of black.
if you are using a dark color and a brayer and you have so many layers under it and you don't push that hard, you only hit the top layer with the paint. That's awesome. It really gives a nice effect. And with a sanding block I am removing some paint here and there. I wanted to use that stencil and some modeling paste, so but I didn't want the modeling paste to be white, so I'm using a little drop of acrylic paint into the modeling paste and mix it around before I apply it. The next step I want to do is use some embossing powder and I touched the modeling paste and it was already dry so I had to wet the text again with some embossing ink and then go over it with the embossing powder. I removed some embossing power the, where I didn't want it with a little brush. Mm -hmm. 
and of course you have to melt the embossing powder with a heat gun. It is time to pick a quote from Franz Papillon's Butterfly Whispers Mixed Media stickers. some piece of cambric to put it all together. I colored them with some lindies. And it is time to glue my angel down. To make it all come together, I'm using a little bit of black ink over the cambric. Yes, building up the spread is making decisions. Where should I put where and what?
and in my spreads there will be no white line everything has to have a color so i go over the edges and this time it's a posca pen To let the text pop up a little more, I'm using glossy accents. some little bit more depth here and there on the edges I'm using a charcoal pencil and some water To give the angel a little bit more depth, I'm using a charcoal pencil and a water brush. This spread was a one go spread. It took me 38 minutes to make it and I got in the flow and made this one. So no idea in my head before I started just picking some random colors and go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Join me next time. See you. Bye bye besties.